On parkbench.com, you'll find local news, events, deals, and meet the people that make McDonough home. Here's your host, Debbie Donaldson. Thank you for joining us for this first episode of interviews on parkbench.com McDonough. I'm here today with Tori Sundstrom. She's the vice president, senior vice president of residential commercial lending with Bank OZK. But we're actually here to talk to her about another role that she has, and that is her role as president of the Henry County Rotary Club. And Henry County Rotary services the entire county, but you know McDonough is the heart of this county. So Tori, tell us a little about yourself. Well, um, I was born and raised in Wisconsin. Um, I'm an only child. And I moved, he, I moved to Georgia in 1988. Um, my husband was in the Air Force, and so I f we, f we moved to South Georgia to Valdosta, and then in 1990, um, he got a job here at Delta Airlines. So we've been married for 35 years. Congratulations, yes, that's awesome. Yes, absolutely. I have two adult sons and um, a daughter-in-law. Uh, my my oldest son's been married about 10 years and he's in the Coast Guard. Um, oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so well, thank you for being a service mom. Yes, yeah, so he'll have 14 years in, in October. And then my youngest son is an attorney uh, in Marietta. So Very um, nice. Yes. So you kind of have roots here in yeah. Georgia and McDonough and the surrounding area. Yes, we, we've been in Henry County since 1990. And, wow. Um, and I've been here uh, in, in this bank for 20 years. Wow, so, yeah. congratulations, mm -hmm. that yeah. is awesome. And so you don't hear about that a lot, someone being an, in a place for a long time. And I'm kind of a new transplant to right. McDonough and just getting to know people. And I'm, I'm so thrilled to get to know you and Rotary. And so why don't you tell, the, uh, tell us what is Rotary? I know I've been involved before in other cities, but uh, Talk about the Rotary Club, the Henry County Rotary okay. Club. Okay, um, the Rotary Club of Henry County, we have 22 members currently. At one time we've had 60 members. Um, we've been you know, down to 20 members, but I think the thing with Rotary is, is you're not just a member to be a member. You know, there's a lot of civic clubs that you can just kind of show up once in a while or, you know, Rotary is kind of more of a, almost like a way of life. It's kind of, with the four-way test, it's kind of the way you live your life. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and the four-way test is, is very important to Rotary. You know, it's, it's of the things we think, say, or do. You know, first, is it the truth? You know, is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? You know, that is something that I think a lot of people, if it, you can live by that, you know. Yes, and absolutely. And as a person and as a business person. Exactly. And so we currently have 22 members, but we have about six or seven new members that will be coming on board. And I'm one of them. Yes, I'm very Debbie excited. is going to be joining us. And we have several others, and we're very excited about that. Um, we hadn't really put a... Um, focus on membership as much in the past year. Um, we did lose about nine members last year, but that was due to mainly relocations or job changes, you know, where they couldn't right. fulfill their obligation. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we have three major fundraisers a year. Um, the first one is our raffle, the geranium raffle, and that's well, that's usually in May, but with COVID, it right. was pushed till Everything September. Changed, right. So it'll be back in May next year, hopefully, if this COVID ends. And then we have our golf tournament, um, which is typically our largest fundraiser, and that's in October. Um, this year, it's October 19th at Georgia National. And then we have our Jingle Jog, which is our 5K run in December. Um, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, we're not sure if we're going to do that this year just because of COVID. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it, um, so we're, we're not sure what we're going to do there. But um, those are our three major fundraisers. And then what we do is with that money, we put it back into the community. We either do that through, um, we've helped very, I mean, a bunch of civic organizations. Um, Operation Lunchbox um, is a, is a, what can I say? Um, 
It's uh, <laughs> it's basically where they feed people on the weekends. Right. Okay. They right. F feed children on the weekends if they don't have lunches for school. Mm -hmm. um, they have lunches at school, but they don't have lunches on the weekends. So you go to their facility, you pack lunches, and then you um, then they distribute those on Friday afternoon. Well, during COVID, they were doing it on a on a daily basis and right, all week the kids long. Right, weren't in school. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And so we gave them close to $3,000 last year um, nice. alone. And then we have the Haven House, which we're helping them out with welcome baskets this year. Basically, when they get people in their shelter and they're ready to get out on their own, there's a welcome basket. And that could have various things, household goods, it can have um, detergent, cleaning supplies, brooms, mops, trash cans, things that cost a lot of money when you're getting out on your own. Right. Yep, so we've done that. Um, we've also helped uh, Connecting Henry. We've donated food to them. Um, we've given them money so that they could go out and purchase food. We also helped them with their Christmas in community with wrapping paper. Uh, we have done um, so many things with so many different clubs. Um, we've helped out Leadership Henry uh, with donations. We've built wheelchair ramps. Um, we found a blind woman, um, a washing machine, because oh, she didn't wow. have a washing machine. Uh, just recently, just two weeks ago or a week ago, we helped a woman that um, has a very low income every month with stage four cancer. She was having issues with her septic tank and so we paid to have that pumped oh, wow. um, for her. And so, I mean, in the Dream Center, we've helped them. Um, they just, uh, there was a lady with four children and she was on her own and she had just gotten back on her feet, and got out on her own, got a job, and then COVID hit and she lost her job. Oh no. So we were able to give rent money to her as well as food to get groceries for the family. So a true you know? give back mm -hmm. to the community at a very local, ha with people who are both hand to mouth and organizations that are serving those people who really need, need assistance. Yes, absolutely. So what inspired you to get involved with Rotary? Well, it's a funny story because one of our current me members, um, she's been a member for 30 years. She started on me when our, when our youngest kids were nine. So that was about 18 years ago. And she said, you know, you need to join Rotary. And I said, well, you know, I just, I don't have the time. I, you know, you know me, when I commit, I kind of want right. to, you know, be all in. I don't want to just, you know, say, hey, I'm a Rotarian and never show up. Right. And um, so she would stay after me for years. And I said, look, when my, when my kids get out of school and uh, they get done playing baseball and I don't feel like I'm going to miss something with them, you know, I'll join. Well. My youngest mm -hmm. one ended up playing college ball. So that was oh, wow. another four years. So after that, um, she said, okay, now it's time. So I joined and actually just um, in October, this is, well, pretty soon here, it was just four years ago. Wow. So yeah, so. That is wonderful. So it's a wonderful service that mm -hmm. you provide to step in. It's a volunteer position mm -hmm. for you to be the president and I'm sure you've served in other board positions along the yes. way. Yes. And so, um, Thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. leading uh, the, this community in such a special way and uh, and not taking the time away from your kiddos no, to get them on their way. Right. But uh, for those of you out here, out there like me, who are empty nesters, it's certainly a, a wonderful way to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. We love to have the young people. You know, it's hard to get the younger people because they do, they are busy with their families and their careers mm -hmm. and their jobs. And we're trying to, Rotary's trying to make things a little more flexible, you know, and kind of forgiving on, you know, the attendance. Mm -hmm. It's changed over the years where it's not as strict. There's a lot of things that you can do to be considered like a makeup for a meeting that you would miss right. to help that younger generation yeah. so they can get more involved because we, we need the youth. The youth is the future. Yes, and, and what do you um, hear and, and feel that uh, the Rotary members, why, why do they love Rotary? Because when you get involved in a group, and I'm telling you, when you get involved in a group, it, you can tell that people love being there. 
And so mm -hmm. any insights on that? Well, I would say that the members like the idea of the fellowship of getting together and doing something for the greater good. You know, doing a service project. We all have smiles when we do service projects. It just gives you the best, warm, wonderful feeling knowing that you're choosing to do something. You know, you might have wanted to do something else that day, but once you go and you've participated in a service project and you're with all your fellow Rotarians, you leave that day feeling like it's the best thing you've done. That you energy know, is priceless. It Absolutely. is. Absolutely, I have it, to agree with you. It really I have to is, agree and, with you. and I think that they just like it's like a family. Our club is like a family. You know, it's not just mm. not just anybody just comes and joins. Um, you're part of a family. And so, what's your most memorable experience with Rotary? Oh, there's a there's a lot of them in just four short short years, but. I would have to say something that kind of resoned with me was way back in the beginning. Um, it was probably right after I joined, so almost four years ago. Um, we have a, a part of the highway on 81, Adopt the Highway. That's part mm -hmm. of our service projects as right. well. And it was our turn to pick up the road, pick up the trash along the road. And I was partnered with a lady, an, another Rotarian. Um, and I didn't know really anybody at that point except mm -hmm. Laura and um, because she was my sponsor i knew right. her and but i really didn't know the other members but okay i'm a rotarian now so i'm gonna help so mm -hmm. we were alongside each other and we were picking up trash and you know we were just chatting and getting to know each other and um before i even know it i was telling her about my family and she she stepped up and she said well you know if your son this was back when my youngest son was in law school she said she had never met him she didn't know me from Adam's house cat, but she said if he would like, I he could come to work for me during the summer. You know, I couldn't pay him much, but I'd do an internship for him, you know, and I'd give him a little summer job and I'd teach him everything I knew. You know, for her to just give of herself like that, for somebody that she didn't even really know at that point, well, my son went to work for her that summer, and to this day we're great friends, and I'm sure it's going to be a lifelong friendship. And it was just, it was special to know that these are the type of people, these like-minded people are the people that I want to be around. Yes. These people will give the shirt off their back for you. Yes. And that, that just doesn't happen too much anymore. No, it is, it is. <laughs> It is rare, <laughs> and mm -hmm. the this past year has really shown that. And mm -hmm. and uh, Rotary is a way to reconnect too. Now that we're able to get back together in small groups, mm -hmm. uh, it's a way to reconnect with the community, reconnect with professionals who are like-minded and wanting to build community. Mm -hmm. And so, what advice would you have for local leaders, local McDonough leaders? I would say that if you're looking to get involved in your community and you're passionate about serving others and serving those that are so close where you either live or work, because some people don't live here but they work here, um, then Rotary, you really need to check out Rotary because, like I said, it's not just an organization, it's a family and it's a unit and we care about one another. We truly will, it's, you know, the Rotary's motto is service above self. And I believe that every one of our Rotarians, you know, take that very seriously. So it's a great way to get in to make lifelong friendships. It's a great way to network your business because we do have, you know, networking. Right. We have mm -hmm. various avenues and, you know, we always look, well, if, if somebody needs some kind of work done, we're going to look to our Rotarian family first. I have found that mm -hmm. true everywhere I've been. Yes. Because the trust factor is just there. I mean, you trust right. them with mm -hmm. anything because they're yes. a Rotarian. Yes. And um, so we always look there first. And it's just, it's a way to build a good, solid foundation. 
Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Tori, You're for welcome. being my first interview here Absolutely. on Park Bench. You are a, a champ at this, so <laughs> I know you were a little nervous at first. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for joining us, and I can't wait to introduce you to more of our local leaders here. Our, um, there will a, a lot of community leaders will be on this uh, program over the coming weeks, months, years, and thank you for being here. Check back for more interviews. Park Bench Interviews brought to you by Debbie Donaldson. Debbie Sell.